We're back with meteorologist David Yeomans. And David, there's been a lot of talk about the El Nino pattern right. and how it should bring us a lot of rain this fall and winter. I'm sure that's welcome news of to course. Austinite's ears, but we're hearing there's one variable that could mess that up. And I'm worried about this one. This is something called the PDO, which is a lesser known, lesser discussed cycle among the public, but it could really throw a wrench into our plans to get some rain and fill the lakes, which we all want so badly. So let's take a look. Here's a cycle up and down ever since 19 or 1854, rather, all the way through the pleasant, uh, present. You can see some negative cycles of what's called the PDO, some positive or warm cycles, and this thing naturally goes up and down through the decades, the Pacific Decadal Oscillation, as it's called. Here's what's different, though. The past couple of strong El Nino autumns that we've had, uh, 2015 was a notable one, 2018 we had a bit of one as well. Those brought deadly floods, the Highland Lake floods, the October Halloween floods in 2015. But here's what's different. Both of those, if you were to zoom in on this graph, happened when the PDO was in a positive or warm cycle. That acts in favor of bringing us rain. So we had El Nino in our favor and the PDO in our favor. What's different right now, though, at the end of this graph, look how strongly negative the PDO is. So we have El Nino trying to bring us rain, but the PDO is strongly acting against it. Both of these are not 50-50 on the scales. El Nino, luckily, a little bit stronger of a pull, but this could really balance out how much we're affected by the El Nino pattern this autumn and even winter. Here's a look at the ocean temperatures that I'm talking about. This is that signature El Nino stripe, red, hotter than normal, equatorial waters in the eastern Pacific. But if I take you just north of there, this cold blob has to do with that negative phase of the PDO I just showed you. And this wasn't there in the fall of 2015. This is really important because between Hawaii and uh, Mexico during an El Nino autumn or winter, this is where the jet stream typically picks up a lot of that heat and moisture from the ocean and supercharges these rain making systems that come to Texas with this colder than normal blob right in that jet stream charging zone. If if you will. Nobody really knows if this El Nino is going to deliver. It may not deliver as much as the past several.